Interface's new headquarters, base camp we call it. It was a difficult thing to get your head around because it wasn't going to be an average building. Some of our biophilic uh, collaborators like Bill Browning talked about it uh, as green space, as a uh, as what would that building be if it were the ground before buildings existed on that site. And that's a lot to accomplish. Pouring concrete is a lot of carbon into the atmosphere. So by finding an existing building, we were attacking the embodied carbon uh, issue as well, which is to say, let's use what we can, let's find a building that fits our purpose from a structural point of view, and then we'll go from there. Modeling nature is something that Interface has taken to heart. It, in fact, uh, drives how we think about the business in general, how we relate to our customers in the world. You know, starting on the outside of the building, uh, we actually wrapped it in a, a large graphic uh, of the Piedmont Forest. One point which concerned us, of course, is songbirds and so forth get confused around certain optics uh, on the outside of buildings. So when you look at a photograph of the outside of the building, it looks like it's either opaque white or clear. It's not, in fact, that at all. It's a very sophisticated texture. It's transitional. It becomes from, from clear, it becomes a little bit more opaque. But it was, it was a lot of design work so that that intimate relationship to that texture would be equally as, as comforting and calming to the inside as it would be as a detractor to, for birds trying to, to fly on the outside. Inside the building, we, we were given exposures north and east, and uh, we took full advantage of those two exposures so that there's tremendous natural light in here. We, we planned the building in a way that gave people choice. Uh, depending on what they needed during the day, whether they needed stimulation or whether they needed sort of relaxation, meditation. I think overarchingly, uh, people have a skip in their step. They are uh, happy to come to work. I think the people that visit are, um, you find them sitting at tables downstairs. You see them moving around the space. And anecdotally, that says a lot. Other things we're proud of was our relationship to water. We decided that we would harvest water coming off the roof but I think people's relationship to water, like many things, is, is very uh, abstract. But in this building, they understand the water from the roof goes downstairs. You find people taking their kids down there and showing them the cistern. There's a big picture window down there, and they can, they can talk about the water system, how important water is. The driver, of course, was provide a facility that is people-focused, that gives everybody what they need throughout the day. Uh, from nourishment, to light, to environment, to access to the out, out of doors. The benefit is, you know, hopefully we'll change the world through great work.